Fear is setting in for those worried about getting access to abortion services. That is especially true for those who are low income. ABC 10's Kurt Rivera has that story. With the U.S. Supreme Court's sweeping decision, Planned Parenthood Marmonte is clear where it stands. It's devastating. No other way to put it. Marmonte is the largest Planned Parenthood affiliate in the country, with 35 health centers in California and northern Nevada serving the most patients each year. Sherry Grevin says they've been preparing for this day since the Trump administration took office. So Planned Parenthood Marmonte has um, opened new health centers. We've expanded the footprint of current health centers um, to increase capacity. We've hired more abortion providers. And they're expanding offices near airports, anticipating an influx of women flying in from other states banning abortion while expanding services for those who want it. It won't impact our current patient flow so that patients that come to see us uh, can still get their appointment in a timely way. In 2017 in California, 40% of its counties had no clinics that provided abortions. Abortion advocates like Laura Jimenez of California Latinas for Reproductive Justice say the high court's decision makes women seeking abortions more reluctant to move forward. It makes people afraid and so they back off from trying to access what they need. Um, in this moment. Here on El Dorado Street in South Stockton, the nonprofit Black Women for Wellness put up this billboard behind me, reminding the public that abortion is still legal in California. And while Medi-Cal covers abortion services and most private health care plans also cover the procedure, advocates worry low-income women who don't qualify for Medi-Cal could be left without services. And depending on how far along the woman is in her pregnancy, it could be a two-day process. So funding will be very um, needed.